where we are free to come and go. Right. We're victim by a madman who perpetrated. We don't know that he was a madman. He could have just been really evil. <laughs> Greg, what do you make of that? Uh, what's his name? Cuomo. Cuomo. He only has one speed. Look how fearless I, I pretend to be when he's with her. He has to, he has to impress uh, all the peers at CNN who are smarter than he is. He knew exactly what she meant. He knew that it was a, it was a word that you use to describe somebody who does awful things. She's, he was parsing her words to impress others. Remember, I mean, he should Yeah, because he's, he's little psychopath Guinea Cuomo. You know, that. He said he's, he's, uh, so he's little Wap Boy Jr. Got to live up to Andrew and Mario El Duce Sfacim. See, that's what he's got to do. Little Chrissy Cuomo, the cute one, goes on CNN and smiles a lot. But meanwhile, behold a lamb that spaketh as a dragon, said the Lord. He's a little rat bastard. And all you Republican conservatives out there that accept this debate, about gun control, hours after 60 of our brethren were slaughtered at a country and Western Republican gathering by one of them, by one of those Antifa pieces of shit. Let me tell you something. I'm going to make a call to all my conservative constituent buddies and, and ladies out there, buy more ammo, buy more weapons, because we're going to need them when we go to clean these bastards out. The Civil War is here. And the battle is about to really get underway because the last 10 to 20 episodes of this craziness has been perpetrated against the likes of us by the likes of them. So arm yourself to the teeth because the cops, let me tell you what they do. They eat their donuts. They show up late. They draw, they draw silhouettes with chalk. Then they tell each other what heroes they are. 515 wounded. 59 dead. With all due respect, uh, you know, Officer Joe Bolton, I don't want to hear it. Get the fuck out of our way, and we'll clean these motherfuckers out. But just like you protect Muslims and the inner city urchins that plague our cities, because that's why you have a job. Let me give you a logic. If you took out the illegal drug dealers from every economy, you'd have nobody to pay for the jails, the DAs, the public defenders, the police. You get it? The top of the food chain are the criminals because the one hand can't exist without the other. You see, we could cure this shit in about three weeks with real law and order. You sell illegal drugs once you go to a work camp for five years. Twice, we put you in a guillotine. Oh man, would that shit end in a hurry, wouldn't it? No, but we'll dance around the lunatic fringe because see, now selling pot is okay as long as Governor Cuomo can make his vigory. He picked, handpicked, the five gangster organizations that can grow pot in New York. Hey, uh, tell you what you got to do over here. You know, uh, you just, uh, we'll make an arrangement over here. And uh, you know how it goes. You take care of me. I take care of you. You'll scratch my back. i leave the gun and take the cannolis over there. You don't have to apologize for taking care of my family. Hey, same old horse shit. Same old dirty game. I used to play hockey at three in the morning. Because that was the only time we could get ice many moons ago, and invariably I get pulled over on the way home by a Clarkstown PD, who today they average about 260 a year. Police chief, by the way, emptied out the police station because he didn't like the fact that his records were subpoenaed, so he just backed his station wagon up and stole all the computers, because that's what you would do at work, right, people? I'm an authority. You know, I'm here to protect you. Don't you think you need protection over here? See, that's how it works. And by the way, this rat bastard shooter, he was an IRS agent and a postal worker. Ding, 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 ding. We're in the bonus round. All right? Let me tell you something. This is not getting better, people. They're out of control. The government is out of control. They run guns in the Mexico 
into the Mexican mob to kill American border patrol agents, and they get away with it. They persecute Christians that want to file for a 501c, tax-deductible uh, business as charitable organizations. Uh, we can't have that because these goyim, excuse me, these Christians, uh, they're terrorists. You know, because that's what Jesus taught, right? When he sat, sat down at the Last Supper, he told the apostles and the disciples to go blow people up. Oh, wait, that was Muhammad. You know, the people the liberals love. So the bottom line is, don't go down their rabbit holes. When they lay the breadcrumbs, look at Fox. Now they're talking about, what is this? Bumper gun stocks. The manifest jargon of the day. And they don't know what it is, but they're all, rap, rap, gun stocks, rap, gotta go away with the gun stocks. Polly want a cracker? I mean, these people are ridiculous. I've never seen one of those things. I was with a buddy of mine. He owns every, he owns every kind of gun. If you can name the gun, he owns it. He never heard of one of those gun stocks. The boy can shoot the balls off a mosquito from 100 yards with a 308. Never heard of this bumper stock thing. He thought, oh, no, you just filed down the, the uh, mechanism. No, Mario, I said, that's not what they were talking about. I never heard of it, see? So the bullshit coming over the spillway is profound. And these people are psychopaths and little Cuomo. You know, let me tell you, I wrote a 97 on the New York State Police exam many moons ago. But I was a white male. So out of 1,185, that was, that was my number out of 52,000 applicants. But I wasn't a minority and I didn't press one to speak English. I wasn't black, right? But they've been hiring gangsters to fill these categories. But you see, when Mario Cuomo saw that that was the reality back in the early 80s, look at we got little Governor Jr. over here. There was no affirmative action for him. No, no, no. See, liberals never live by the laws they want to burden us with, like high taxes. They got every loophole in the world. Remember this, people. You can't spell liberal without L-I-A-R.